Hey everybody, Adam here and I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be doing a video on how to stake up your inflatables so that they rise up the same every time. Now, this, if you're having problems with it, I figured out through a little bit of trial and error the best way that I've figured to do it or found to do it. And what you got to do is set them up and stake them up with triangles with the strings. Now these two over here were kind of not staked up correctly and my wife and kid actually set them all out. So what we're doing right now is fixing them. These guys were done more correctly with the triangles and actually use the same stakes for the same you know next to each other and it worked out pretty good. So let's raise them up and we'll get an idea of why we got to use triangles. Alright, so we turned them on. And let's see what happens when we set them up with triangles and without triangles. So we see how these two, Santa and the gingerbread guy, are standing up pretty good. And then over here, we have Rudolph and the snowman. And not so much. If you look right here, we have one string going down to a stake, and then on this side we have two, and two. See that? Yeah. Sorry. And it's three points of contact, more so than I guess a triangle. And like I said here with Santa, we have the same two. And we get this string over here. This kind of keeps them from going anywhere. They won't go, you know, I'm tugging them to the left. You pull them forward, he's hitting that back one, he won't go backwards. It keeps them pretty steady in the wind, too. Same with this guy. You know, once you get them, and you set them up when they're inflated. Pretty, pretty much there versus these guys. If the wind blows, you know, Rudolph's going everywhere. Far. So let me get a couple more stakes and we'll get these guys set up too. I'll show you how we do that. So y'all stay tuned. Man. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to do is kind of lay out your spread. I guess these two are already set up. Santa and the gingerbread man. So we're not going to fool them. We have our. This is what powers it, where they get the power from. It's on a light sensor, and I have it set normally to run about two hours after dark, or two or three or something, I'm not sure. It's got settings on top, pretty handy little rig. Actually, I think I do like four hours. You see it's got different settings. I generally set them for about four hours after dark, I guess because it's getting dark pretty early. Anyways. <clears throat> get them set kind of where you want them. You know, these two, like I said, I was able to use the same stakes, which is fine. These guys, I may be able to use one or two of the same. Um, like here, we're going to have to overlap. So we're, what I've done first is I've got one string off of this side. I doubled it up over here. We have two strings. So we'll spread those out. So first thing we're going to do... Take this one. And you want to go pretty far. Just take them in. And that kind of sets sets things up for them. Is that Rudolph? I guess it's not Rudolph. Come on, color those. I don't know what they sold me at Walmart. And then this one is going to lean them up, straighten them up some, and it's going to pull them back. Now you see how we did that? Now he's up. Now what we're going to do, get another stake, 
Sorry if the camera's a little shaking around. This third one is going to pull them back forward. Make them look kind of normal. Plus, we can, once we get the strings in, we can inflate them, we can move the base around a little bit. So we'll just pull them forward. Pick them up a little bit. See the difference? Now he's set. Kind of got him fanned out a little bit. Believe me, I don't have a big old setup in my house. Not as much as I would like. And my wife would like to see those. So, anyways, we'll do the same thing with Santa. We'll do the one string over here first. Pick up a steak. This is like some extra string I had. Sometimes they don't give you quite enough. Just got them pulled a little to the side, which is alright. So we can always pop them over. I hope I'm not shaking y'all too much. I'm going to pull them back a little. And you want to angle your stakes a little bit. You want to drive them in on an angle into the ground. So he's kind of pulling against it. I've got to get one more. But you see, he's pulling back now. Once we pull forward with that other one, he'll be standing good too. So let me get another steak. All right, sorry, we're back. Uh, and steak size, they don't really even have to be this big. These things are pretty light. They don't really go around a whole lot. They give you some small ones, and they work pretty good, but you can pick these up at Walmart for pretty cheap, I'm pretty sure. Or you can get cheaper ones. And see, now we're just pulling forward a little bit. Stick them in, stomp them in. And straighten them up. And there you go. There you have it. Now we're all stood up. Everybody's happy. And we'll shut them down. And I'll let you see them standing up. Now one of the other secrets about this is that they're going to lay down the same too for the most part. When the bases stay flat, it helps them stand up better too. So everybody's laying down. They've been down for a little bit. Let's get them all back up. Turn the power on. Everybody comes right back up. And there you have it, guys. Everybody stands up and falls down the same. Just how you like it. So, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I really appreciate you like, sharing, subscribing. Y'all know the routine. Y'all been doing great, killing it. Thanks for the extra subscribers. And. Guys, I just want to say I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.